Well, school for 2020 has started, but it's not like anything before. This year, the Emperor of California has decreed that children must not attend classes in the school buildings, which have been used for decades. That's right, those children are now in their homes being taught via Zoom or some other electronic method. Rosie is hard at work trying to teach all of her students sitting at a table in once was our breakfast nook. Now the nook is a place of higher learning. As I see it, the concept can work. But in my humble opinion, there's much that needs to be done by the person in charge of education in this Riverside County. I believe every teacher should be using the exact same system. I have my opinion about what it could be, but they aren't going to ask me. The important thing is to take the pressure off the parents. My guess is the majority don't really know how to help effectively. Take the pressure off the kids. Starting out is fun, but inconsistencies and incongruity will eventually take a toll on the kids including the high school kids. And to take pressure off the teachers. They want to be effective, but each teacher needs to be headed in the same direction, doing the same system. The teacher cannot have 100 plus students online and effectively control or communicate with these kids. I know things will level out, but this homeschooling isn't necessarily the answer as it is currently being done. So here I am outside Rosie's classroom, which was our breakfast room. It's now our classroom. Nothing is there now because she's at school. She went into the school today to do a little additional work and see if she can make the system work a little better. I think she's working with some other teachers and the principal to come up with a uh, system that's going to be more effective. But that's it. That is the institution higher learning and all things about the Spanish language you could ever want to know. I'll end this short video with these thoughts. If you know of parents struggling with the current system of teaching, why not volunteer to help in some small way or big way? Keep in mind the little minds of mush need the individual undivided attention of their parents, their teachers, and the school teaching system. Anything you can volunteer to do makes the load lighter for the teachers in the schools. The children need help. I need help. Rosie is going nuts here at this school classroom. Stay healthy, have fun. Remember, be polite and stay humble. Hi students, I'm Mrs. White. I'm a Spanish teacher.